Just a year after Facebook was invaded, this 2006 George Mason team, as an 11 seed, would go on one of the most historic March Madness runs. I was 10 years old at the time of this run, and this is the first Cinderella I personally ever remember. They started off taking down number 16 Michigan State, led by Shannon Brown. The second round, they would face the third seed North Carolina Tar Heels, led by freshman of the year, Tyler Hansborough. They'd win that game 65 to 60. Sweet 16 would take care of business versus Wichita State. In the Elite Eight, they would take down the number one seed, UConn Huskies, led by head coach Jim Calhoun and first round draft pick that next year, Rudy Gay. So what are they up to now? Their starting five was led by big man center, Jai Lewis, who is the leading scorer and leading rebounder. He would attempt to go play as an offensive tackle in the NFL before eventually going overseas to play for seven seasons and is now a behavior specialist. Starting guard Tony Skin would go undrafted before playing overseas for six seasons. Since 2012, he's been involved in coaching, but this year got hired by George Mason as the head coach. Other starting guard Lamar Butler was the region's MVP during that March Madness run for George Mason, but he would go undrafted and play four seasons overseas. And now he's currently the director of player development at George Mason. Starting forward, Will Thomas would also go undrafted, but he is still currently today playing overseas in Spain. Last starter on the team was Full Aaron Campbell, who would go undrafted, but he would go on to play 12 seasons overseas for Germany, Latvia, and Italy. He's currently the assistant director of the Patriot Club at George Mason, joining Tony Skin and Lamar Butler in returning back to their alma mater.